Good evening. Welcome to St. Edward's Episcopal Church Online Compline time together tonight. My name is Mark Laffler. I'm the priest and pastor at our church in beautiful Mount Dora, Florida. Thank you for joining with me tonight. Today is the day of Ascension, Ascension Day. Today the Lord rose up into, into the heavens, and um, it's a special day, a special feast day in our church. Usually we would have a service tonight, but unfortunately we do not uh, due to the virus. So um, we'll talk a little bit about this before we spend our time in the prayers of Compline tonight. Uh, let us pray first. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill the things, all things, mercifully give us faith to perceive that, according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of the ages, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts, chapter 1. Uh, the story of the Ascension. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria to the end of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes, and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. You know, as I think about the Ascension Day, um, to me it's one of the most underrated feast days in our church. Um, it is a special day, full of meaning, full of meaning for us in our daily life. And let me let me explain it this way. I, in fact, I saw uh, um, a funny meme on social media today that it said Ascension Day is the day where Jesus went to work from home, <laughs> which brings a whole new meaning in this uh, virus time that we're in. Um, well, in a sense, he did. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, which is a place of power. And what is what is Jesus doing there? The scriptures tell us that he's interceding for us. He's in a place of power, praying for us so that we may share the kingdom of God. And I don't know about you, but that is that should lift us up into a place of um, of strength to be able to go out and be God's witnesses in this earth, no matter what kind of time we're living in. And another thing that I think about the ascension, though, is that the 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 two dressed in white, the the angels that said, "Men of Galilee, what are you looking at?" As they're gazing up into when uh, Christ ascended, and he said, "The same way that he rose." He will come again. That to me is some of the most powerful text in Scripture. Such hope of the coming and the return of Jesus Christ. One of my rides that I enjoy um, at Walt Disney World, when it's of course when it's open, um, is Splash Mountain. And probably a lot of you, especially in Central Florida, are familiar with Splash Mountain at the Magic Kingdom. And you kind of circle around all the way up on top of the mountain, then you take a big uh, um, slide down at the very end on this boat. And right before you you go on that final part where you where you, you go down the big drop at the end, I think there's a rabbit there, and it says something like, "What goes up must come down." And I've always thought about that moment in reference to the ascension that what goes up must come down, as a sense of of the promise that. Jesus went into heaven, he ascended into heaven, but he will return in the same way as he went up. What goes up must come down. So Jesus is returning. It says in Revelation, I think, uh, chapter 1, verse 7, 
that he will come in the clouds. When I see the clouds, these big, puffy, dreamy clouds during the day, um, it reminds me of just, a, just an anticipation of the return of Christ. And so the ascension reminds me that Jesus ascended into a place of power where he's interceding for us. But on one day in the future, he will return. That is the hope that we live. That Jesus Christ will return. And when he returns, he will set the world at rights. And that gives us hope for today. This virus is not the final answer. Death is not the final answer. Unemployment is not the final answer. The, the craziness of our politics is not the final answer. All of this, the world will be made right when Jesus Christ returns. Amen, amen. And that is the truth for the day of ascension. Jesus ascended to the Father. He will return in glory. Our promise for today is not to put our hope in the things of this world, but to put our hope in Christ. That is crazy of a world that sometimes we live in. But Jesus Christ will come again. He is faithful to do it. Amen. Happy Feast Day of the Ascension. You know, tonight we uh, have the opportunity for our spaghetti dinner outreach. We were able to um, distribute uh, 100 plus meals tonight. I'll have some pictures uh, later on on our Facebook page of that. But a wonderful time of outreach again tonight. Well, I invite you to pray with me on page 127 from the Book of Common Prayer, the Prayers of Compline. Page 127. Let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us say together Psalm 134. Behold, now bless the Lord, O you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place, and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all the perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite you to pray your own intercessions and give your thanksgivings to God. You may leave those in the comments if you choose to do so, so that others may join with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise on this night where we were able to bless many families, Lord, with spaghetti dinner meals and share God's love with them. Lord, as we were able to give out, uh, distribute over a hundred meals tonight, uh, not only to folks in our community, but we also tonight blessed our fire department and our police department. Lord, I thank you for Pastor Bobby, who joined us tonight from um, Saving Faith Baptist Church. Lord, as we connected with with him tonight, Lord, I pray that uh, we'll, we'll continue to grow in our friendship and relationship between our churches. Lord, I thank you, Father, for uh, for Misty, who um, has joined us every night from the city. I pray that you just bless them, Lord God. Be with our parishioners, Lord, that volunteer tonight and each week, Father. I thank you for those that have helped fund the event uh, each Thursday night and those that have prayed. Father, it is so good to serve our community in the name of our Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father, for the opportunity and the faithfulness of your people, your children, who call St. Edward's their home church. Father, I pray that you continue to protect us and strengthen us, Lord God, to do the work you have called us to do. Lord, I pray for those families, Lord, that are suffering and struggling, Lord, tonight, either due to sickness in the family, especially with the virus, or also, Lord, because of the unemployment um, and the economic, economic struggles, Lord God, that have been brought into our nation and in our community and in Central Florida. Lord, I pray for your great grace to be upon them. Lord, help people that are feeling alone and anxious Know that they are not alone. Father, I pray that as Christians we'll reach out to our brothers and sisters, Lord, in our neighborhoods and in our communities as much as we can, Lord, to help those that are hurting. Father, I thank you for getting us through and continuing to get us through this time of the virus. Lord, I pray that you will guide us and give us your wisdom as we continue to prepare for church on March 31st and beyond, but also assisting folks in our community and so forth, Lord. I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for joining with me tonight on this day of the Ascension. I'm happy to be with you and pray with you. Be strong in the Lord and of his mighty power. May you rest in the hopefulness and peace of our God. Amen. Good night.